What's going on, y'all? Greg Red said it. Back for the second one of the day. Inspirational, motivational Sunday. Thanks for all you all who came out early today to the live. So we talked about, just came out and expressed why I think the Colorado Buffaloes would dominate this year. No shame, no hiding, no, no doubt. No, I'm going to wait and see. I chose to say. And they asked me what my predictions were. I said eight and four is no good. That's really what should have been a goal this past year. Ten and two are better. Ten and two are better. And that's what I believe. And I'll explain if you want to know more about it. Definitely go back and check out the live. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe so you catch all the stuff in the future. But um, just say I I've assessed the talent. I know what was missing last year. I know what they had this year. And I just, I believe, you know, all factors the same and equal. Without excessive referee input and other outside factors and, and barring injury, even though I feel like they have the depth to be pretty decent across the board, they should be a pretty strong, a strong team, conference contender, a playoff contender, definitely top 20, even top 10 team. So like people say, we'll see. And that's what we're looking at here. Um, it's a lot going on. A lot of people overlooking this team. A lot of people don't really know what's going on. But people who actually follow Colorado, we really pay attention to who's coming in and you know who could leave and and what everybody brings to the table and what gaps they fill. And it's like I don't think people really gonna see Colorado coming. They're gonna come out of nowhere. They're not. They're gonna act like the boy who cried wolf. Maybe y'all said y'all gonna do something last year. The haters and the followers are like, well, we're gonna wait and see. And by the time they wait and see, it's gonna be too late. The caliber team. I think that if Colorado has a fast start, or a good start. People just gonna say wait and see. They already pretty much saying it. They already saying wait and see after their fourth and fifth game. They already, in a slick way, giving them credit. Y'all will beat the same people you beat last year. You'll beat uh, Nebraska. You'll beat. Uh, Colorado State, you should beat North Dakota. Even though if you lose, they're going to make a big deal out of it. They've already saying, we're not going to get hyped. We're not going to get excited again to y'all face somebody worthy, like maybe Kansas State. I think that's around about the fifth game or something like that. So it's already, this, the standard is already set. Colorado can go 5-0. and oh. And people's like, huh, that's not enough. Last year, y'all went 3-0. and oh. Okay, y'all went 5-0. and oh. Y'all haven't played anybody. And that's just the narrative that's already set. So I'm telling you, if you didn't know, you heard it here. It's already set. They can win five, six games. And it's like, ah. And I guess it makes sense to that type of person for what you've seen last year, fast starting and a slope the rest of the year. But this is definitely a different kind of team. And it's like, they're going to get a chance to do a lot of things behind the scenes and prepare that the world is not going to see. They know, they wouldn't see before, but they less people watching even more because they said they're not going to follow the hype. They're going to wait and see. And it's like that saying, what you do in the dark come to light. And I think that's good and bad. But the work that Colorado is doing, and even what they're recruiting, you notice they're learning to be quiet because people will really sabotage them and, and try to, you know, undercut them and talk negative about them in recruiting, which is bizarre, man. I, I don't think it's far-fetched, but it's kind of taken pretty far when you go personal against them. Really, you, you know, you're all in the same not fraternity, but the same system. You know, you know, all the college coaches, it don't go over so far. You know, people change jobs. So how are you really that deep and that loyal? You know I mean, these people change jobs for a bag any day. Like the Washington coach went to Alabama and all these coaches moving around. You're not in love with the school. So it's really not that serious unless it's personal. And it's definitely personal against Coach Prime for a lot of these guys. They're willing to say and do a lot of things and be unprofessional to to pull kids away from them so colorado's learned to keep their mouth closed for lack of better words they've learned to move silently and outside of well off and even well off maybe can control a lot of things maybe a lot of things gonna go under the radar maybe people gonna continue to underestimate them but a lot of the things they're gonna do i believe they learned their lesson they're gonna do quietly they're gonna get better quietly and some of us may know some things, but the world at large won't know anyway because they're not following and it's not going to be readily available for them. And that's really a lot like life. 
I mean, when you look at your life, it's what you do in your preparation that determines your success. It's not about you running your mouth and telling everybody what you're going to do and what you're doing. That's not a good thing. People will try to sabotage you, put bad energy, however you want to call it, uh, up against what you're trying to do. And even, you know, collaborate with other people to block you. You know, some people just don't want to see you make it. They want to stay on top, or they don't, I don't know, something in them that makes them work on the behalf against you. And that it is what it is. And so you have to learn to work behind the scenes like Colorado. You learn to be quiet. You learn to just work. You don't need a lot of pats on the back. You don't need uh, acknowledgement and recognition. You know what you're working on. You know what you have. And when your time comes, you will prove who you are instead of saying who you are. Less talking, more walking. And I see Colorado being a little less talk and more walk. A little less I'm coming. And I'm already here, so I ain't got nothing to say to you. But, you know, they had to do what they had to do last year. I mean, people talk this, that. They didn't have the big money. They didn't have the big name, you know, as far as the college is concerned. They didn't have a lot of uh, tools and things. They had the facilities, stuff like that. But they didn't have a lot. And they didn't really have a lot of time to draw the players that they needed in the way that they needed it. I mean, we saw that when it came to that depth. So... I can't, I can't fault him for saying what he said and doing what he did and bringing that light and bringing that hype. The school needed it. And he brought that spotlight. And they stood up well in it sometimes, and then they failed in front of it at times. But that, that comes with being a first-year program and not everything you need. You can't blame him for that. And you definitely can't say this team this year is the same team. They don't even have the same coordinators. I mean, come on. You that blind, you just don't want to see. They don't have the same offensive coordinator. They don't have the same defense coordinator. So by default, the leaders of the the, the units are going to change. It's going to be something different. Not not to mention that the players are different as well. Whole different offensive line coming in. Um, same quarterback. Got a whole nother unit of receivers coming in. Got a whole new D-line pretty much coming in. In combination with what they already have, it's a new team. Sometimes a new team can be bad. A lot of times you can say, hey, it's new, you're starting over, you got to build relationships. But in this case, new is good. They don't need the same thing they had. We saw what that produced. So let them keep working. Let us keep working. Working behind the scenes, putting in the work, getting smarter, getting stronger. Like you say, getting with better character, more, better discipline. Work ethic just where it needs to be. And we all will be able to say, you didn't see us coming. We all be able to shock the world because we ain't telling them. We're done talking. We're done talking. People not going to believe you anyway. They say you said it before anyway. So we all, we all are in the same boat. We all can learn. It's time to do less talking. It's time to just show up and show out. And with that, I'm Greg. This is Greg Said It. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good rest of your little weekend you have Sunday, and I'll talk to y'all soon.